Hey everyone, when you first start streaming, whether it's for gaming, doing events, or for client work, one of the key concerns is finding your audience. Now, most of the social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, they all have their different discoverability tools, their ways of interacting with the audience, and just different audiences in general. Now, in the past, if you wanted to stream to multiple sites, this required multiple encoding processes, and this was quite taxing on your CPU or GPU, depending on the number of sites you needed to stream to, not to mention all the bandwidth you need for all this. However, now there's a service that you can use where you just send one encoding process to this site and then it basically multi-streams it to all the sites that you want to broadcast on. So for this episode of Stream Tech, I partnered with the good people at caster.io who provide this service. I'm going to show you how to set all this up and some handy tools that are actually unique to caster.io. So first you'll need to create an account at caster.io. I put a link to sign up for account in the description of this video and everyone who signs up gets a free seven day trial of their broadcast plan. So when you're signing up, you'll just need to provide your name and an email address and set a password. So first we start off here in the dashboard and we're going to create a new multi-stream. And when you create a new multi-stream, you're going to have to name it. So if you're going to be creating a lot of multi-streams for different clients, and different projects, I recommend naming it or tying it to that project. But if it's just going to be a single multi-stream for like a home stream or something, just, you know, name it whatever you like. So the next you're going to want to set the hosting region. So the hosting region is basically going to determine where you're actually broadcasting to from your stream encoder. So you want to pick a hosting region that's actually close to your own physical location that you're going to be streaming from. So for me, you know, I'm based in Singapore, so I'm going to select Singapore as my hosting region. So now we're here in the multi-streaming dashboard. And now let's add a platform to stream to. So let's add a YouTube stream first. So you can actually connect to your account through Caster using the YouTube API. And you can actually connect it so that you can broadcast to YouTube events. So you just go here and you log into your YouTube account. You allow some access to your account. And then it'll allow you to either create a new event to stream to on YouTube, or you can actually stream to an existing event. Now, if you don't feel comfortable giving access to your YouTube account like this, you can actually input manually the custom RTMP info from the YouTube event that you set up in the YouTube Studio dashboard. So for the other platforms that you can add to Caster.io, they pretty much work in the same manner. You need to log into the account, it'll connect to the API, pull the info like the stream key and RTMP it needs to broadcast out to. But the only unique case here is with Facebook. So with Facebook, you need the broadcast times two plan to be able to use the API login. Otherwise, you'll actually have to use the custom RTMP function to broadcast to your Facebook pages or accounts. So one cool feature that I actually like in Caster.io is that for some services such as Twitch, after you connect to the API, you can actually select what server you want to broadcast to on Twitch. So let's say you're someone who is in Dallas and you connect to Twitch and you know that the connection to the Dallas server isn't as good as maybe broadcasting to the Miami server. So you can actually pick that and configure that how you like. You can also change some metadata info on some of the stream platforms. So this is things like title or set the game that you'll be playing. Pretty useful. So now that we have some platforms set up in Caster, let's actually start streaming video to the service. And the most common way we'll do this is using streaming software. So for this example, we're going to use OBS Studio, but this pretty much works the same for things like Lightstream or XSplit or Wirecast. So first in OBS, we're going to click on settings. We're going to go to the stream tab, and then we're going to copy over the RTMP URL and the stream key from Caster into OBS, and then we're going to click apply. So next, we're going to want to go into the encoding settings. Now things like the resolution and the frame rate and the bit rate, this is all going to be dependent on the PC that you have for encoding, you know, how much network bandwidth you have. But basically the one thing that's always going to be consistent is you're going to want to set the keyframe interval to two. Now I'll leave a link in the description to some encoding guidelines for some different encoders and resolutions and frame rates that was made by Twitch as a link in the description. So basically you just verify your encoding settings and then start your stream in OBS and then verify that your video feeds coming in and caster.io and then toggle on the platforms that you want to go live on. And that's about it. You're multi-streaming already. And this covers about 90% of the use cases. But let's take a look at some of the other useful features in caster.io. So let's take a look at the other ways that caster.io can actually pull a stream feed in to send out to the different platforms. So one way is via RTMP source. So if you're streaming into an RTMP server and you have a pull link, you can paste it here. Caster.io can pull that video feed and then you can go live. Another way is just using your webcam and using the browser. So basically, you select this option, you'll get a prompt to give access to your webcam and your microphone. 
You'll see the video feed pop up and then you can just go live. So if you're wondering how are you gonna view chat from all these different sites at the same time without opening up a million different pop-up windows? Well, the cool thing is that caster.io actually gives you a chat tool to aggregate all this chat. However, it can only do this if you've connected to the platform via the API. So if you've done it through custom RTMP setup, it won't be able to pull the chat. But basically you can view the chat by clicking on this button here to pop up a window. And if you wanna use chat as like an engagement tool, like if people see their chat messages, they might chat more you can actually add it as a browser source within OBS. So finally in caster.io, there's this really handy feature that I call the kill switch. So it's this enable disable button here. And basically if you disable things, it'll cut everything. So all the streams that are going out to all the platforms will stop and you won't be able to ingest anymore to caster.io. And this is really handy if you're gonna be doing some pre-event testing. So if you're just testing the feeds, you don't wanna go live accidentally on the client's platforms cause it's gonna lead to some angry messages. And also just, you know, for safety, you don't want to like accidentally send a feed. So it's pretty handy that after you're done streaming, just disable stuff and you can be confident that you're not going to send anything out that you're not supposed to. So that's pretty much an overview of how to set up caster.io for multi-streaming. Thanks again to caster.io for sponsoring this video. Again, you can get a seven day trial of their broadcast plan just by signing up by clicking on the link in the description or the link that will appear here. Thanks again for watching. Give a like if this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more stream tech and catch you on the next one.